Hi, this is Sarah Levis at Girl with the Cane, and this is the video post for about me and my brain AVM. I hope you enjoy it. I'm 34 years old. Up until I was 22, I appeared pretty healthy. Well, a little overweight, but not enough to cause any major problems. But I discovered that year, after I had a small stroke in a job interview, true story, I swear, that I wasn't as healthy as I appeared. Some medical testing revealed that I had a vascular condition in my brain called an arteriovenous malformation, or a brain AVM. Brain arterious malformation, or AVM. The brain AVM, you can get an AVM anywhere in your body, but mine was in my brain, had been there since I was born. But since I'd never been dropped on my head, for which I'm grateful to my parents, don't get me wrong, or fallen on my head, or been hit on the head hard enough to go to the hospital and have a CT scan, no one knew it was there. A brain AVM doesn't tend to give people much trouble until early adulthood or older, when it begins to leak blood into parts of the brain where it shouldn't be. This is called a hemorrhagic stroke, and it can cause a lot of problems. Fortunately for me, that first stroke didn't leave me with any after effects, but the brain AVM needed to be treated before it bled again and possibly did do some damage. Treatment Tales The Brain AVM team at Toronto Western Hospital evaluated my case and discussed my options with me, and we finally settled on an embolization and a craniotomy. The embolization made the brain AVM much smaller, and then they were able to seal off almost all of the brain AVM with the craniotomy. However, I also had another stroke, a much bigger one this time. I lost most of the function in my left arm and leg. Over a decade later, I'm still living with the effects of that stroke. I've been lucky to have access to great physiotherapy and occupational therapy, though and a wonderful support system. I live on my own, I have a job, and I'm still noticing function return in my arm, hand, and leg. Even after nearly 13 years, the ceiling for that sort of thing is usually five years, the doctors tell me. You'll be hearing more about my story in my blog, but not exclusively, of course. Here are some terms you may find useful to know. A short brain AVM glossary. Arterial venous malformation, or AVM. A defect of the circulatory system that is generally believed to arise during embryonic or fetal development or soon after birth. It is comprised of Tang snarled tangles of arteries and veins. AVMs can occur anywhere in the body but are especially dangerous when occurring in the brain or spine. Cerebral angiogram. Imaging tool used to detect and show the characteristics of brain AVMs. Angiography provides the most accurate picture of blood vessel structure in brain AVMs. The technique requires injecting a special water-soluble dye called a contrast agent into an artery. The dye highlights the structure of blood vessels so that it can be recorded on conventional x-rays. Conventional surgery Open brain surgery involves entering the brain or spinal cord and removing the central portion of the brain AVM 
while causing as little damage as possible to surrounding neurological structures. This surgery is most important and most appropriate when a brain AVM is located in the superficial portion of the brain or spinal cord and is relatively small in size. This is also called a craniotomy. CAT scan. Computer, computed axial tomography scan. CAT scans use x-rays to create a series of cross-sectional images of the head, brain, or spinal cord. These are especially useful in revealing the presence of hemorrhage. That's how they found out that, that I was hemorrhaging. Endovascular embolization. Doesn't this just get better and better? A surgical procedure in which the surgeon guides a catheter through the arterial network until the tip reaches the site of the brain AVM. The surgeon just then introduces a substance that will plug the main part of the brain AVM, correcting the abnormal pattern of blood flow. The materials used in embolization include fast drying, biologically inert glues, fiber titanium coils and tiny balloons. They use glue with me, so I have glue in my head. <laughs> MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, uses magnetic fields to detect subtle changes in neurological tissues. Radio surgery, Procedure that involves aiming a beam of highly focused radiation directly on the AVM. The high dose of radiation damages the walls of the blood vessels, making up the lesion. Over the course of the next several months, the irradiated vessels gradually degenerate and eventually close, leading to the resolution of the AVM. They discussed radio surgery with me, but they didn't think that it was an appropriate option. Uh, definitions are used courtesy the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke, which is at www.nindsnih.gov backslash, with their permission. Thanks for listening. See you next time.